Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. I am an intuitive tarot card reader and this will be your weekly reading for the upcoming week. I will be using the Shadowscapes Tarot, having a look to see what messages may be helpful for you in the upcoming week. If you enjoy this content and you'd like to see it on a weekly basis going forward, please leave behind a like. Alternatively, you're more than welcome to subscribe and join my YouTube family. We'd all welcome you with open arms. Um, and in which case you will receive notifications of any upcoming themed readings for your sign. Now, if you were after private readings, all the information you require, my email, list of prices and services are all listed below this video in the description box. Having said that, let's get straight into it and see what's coming up for the sign of Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week. Okay, starting off with the full card followed by the death card and then the moon okay this is powerful what's going on here libra the full card new adventures new beginnings will call you to something grand here this is a fresh new beginning this is something major um life-changing beginnings can happen here because you've got the death card in the middle the full could be in areas around some of you uh, librans here the full is about taking the plunge taking a leap of faith um Wow, this is powerful. This is you meeting head to head with a major change or transformation that will occur in the upcoming week. Look, the Fool is a bit of a nomad, a bit of an adventurer. Your thirst for adventure could be quite heightened this month, uh, this week, sorry. You may find that you're planning travels, planning new beginnings, planning new um, adventures here. There is Aries, Scorpio and Cancer that have come up in the cards. So if you are dealing with one of these signs and they are very important to you, romantically, platonically, professionally, this person is coming in very, very strongly. Um, and there's wonderful changes and emotions that will circulate around you and the significant other. Um, the full card is seen as fire energy, so I'm seeing a zest for life. You're wanting to dive into new beginnings. You're wanting a fresh start, a clean slate, uh, or you're, you're uh, it, it could be the fact that, you know, what I want to mention here, the full you can see, she's, she's ready to leap off the edge of the precipice here, and the, and the majestic doves hold her back in caution. There's a red rope of caution here. I'm seeing something that you've been wanting to dabble in. Um, it could be an ending. It could be something secretive. Now, it's not always an ending because if it's Scorpio energy with the death card, it points to something being secretive or mysterious. So you might want to be diving into something unknown here. It could be someone you don't know very well that's still a little bit mysterious to you. Um, it could be you diving into metaphysical beliefs, esoteric beliefs. It could be you dabbling in the thought of ending something with someone, a friendship, a connection, or you dabbling in so you're almost ready to leap into the unknown the death card is scorpio it's the unknown it's hidden um it brings uh surprises here something we didn't plan something we didn't meditate on something we haven't premeditated so it's quite exciting for you libra um uh, libra this is you delving into the unknown it is that red rope of caution though so i wonder what this is because the moon card could show you feel a little bit anxious to start this um, could be adventure, could be travels. You might feel like you're a bit lonely or you don't have enough planned financially, maybe. The full card can be seen as, you know, a little bit irrational. So you might have some irrationality here um, when you're diving into something, diving into the unknown, so to speak, with that death card. So look, it can point to adventure, uh, travel, movement, relocation, moving homes, moving um, places, for example. It, it can point to that sort of energy with the full card as well. But the fact that it's sitting right, you're diving into unknown to the death card. Okay, could be a Scorpio here. Some of you are, are venturing into uncharted territory here with a water sign. And I do believe it's a little bit mysterious here and you're just going to have to go with the flow. The moon card is all about building a connection based on how you feel. Not what you think about this person, but how they make you feel. It's that element of you have to sense things out. You need to feel things out. But it's definitely mysterious and you won't know <clears throat> until you give it a shot, Libra. So I'm kind of excited for you, but at the same time, I feel like you might have hunches or something that wants to hold you back. It might be like um, friends or family, like someone might say to you, oh, you know, don't go there with that person because I've heard this and this. Or, you know, it's um, 
you know, it's something that's coming up here that's quite interesting. But look, the death card can point to endings, major endings and major new beginnings, transformation, doing things at 360. It's quite dramatic and flamboyant in the cards. So it could be something quite momentous. Um, it could be like a dramatic exit or um, <clears throat> something that's a little bit outrageous, scandalous. The way things might end might be really you know, really tense, really fiery, because you can see this warm energy. It's like fire energy around here. So some of you may have some of this um, coming through with a death card. It can also point to the past. So when I say venturing into the unknown, you could also be venturing into the past, but it's going to come with a disclaimer and that red rope of caution is coming up for some of you. So you'll be tempted, but someone will try to hold you back. Now it could be like intuition, um, intuitive energy with the death card here or it could be someone around you that's helping you say no um, to fall back into mystery fall back into old patterns old ways negative relationships something that didn't serve you something that's calling from your past that you've already encountered and it's back again maybe in the upcoming week you do also have the moon card okay so there's, it's, it's quite an emotionally fueled week the moon card is of course a cancer um, you might have a connection here that with a cancer that's coming through and their emotions um, or a bit of mystery around this person or new beginnings around this person may surface in the upcoming week. Um, what I'm seeing here is that there's two faces. Double agent here, maybe. Two faces. Um, someone that's false. I wouldn't say false. It's not dis... I mean, it could be. I mean, the moon is mystery, though. Sometimes the moon can deceive us. It's emotionally deceived more, more than anything. But uh, the reason I say that is because she has two faces here. But it's not that. I almost feel like someone's put on a front, okay? Or someone is putting on a front. But there's mystery connected to them. So those that have a someone coming in from the past that's wanting to reconnect with you, just, I guess, you know, be careful not to jump into anything too soon, Libra, because this person could be putting on a front, they could have ulterior motives because they're still mystery. You don't know enough about the situation to say yes or no just yet. So they, someone might be seeking some sort of clarity or answer from you, Libra, but you're not ready to give it. Or I would advise you, you take your time and feel, scope the situation out through your intuition, through your feeling, because that's what the moon is. It's all about intuition and sensing things. Um, but I also feel like it's a bit of a performance. It's a bit of a show. So I'm not sure if some of you are in production or you're in sales and there's sort of like a different persona you have to be in the workplace or with other people. Um, there could be different some, some of this coming through. So, um, you know, conforming to different circle of friends or conforming to different family members or you possibly leading a double life even. Um, you know, you are represented by the scales and you do like things in equality, but I am seeing that it, this could be a cancer around you, uh, Libra, but it could also be you with the moon card that feels you have to conform and be different people, uh, a different person to different people. Um, but it can also point to creativity. Okay, some of you have a different persona in the sense where you might have a pen name if you're an author or a different persona online. Um, so it, it's theatrical, I feel, with the moon card here. It's theatrical. Um, it's extravagant, as is the death card. I think all these uh, all these um, images are pretty, uh, pretty theatrical, pretty extravagant. But I'm seeing with the moon card, uh, there is a lot of creativity. So inspiration for um, creative pursuits, for career, for business. Some of you are finally taking the mask off and by taking the mask off, you're actually ending something, okay? Ending a persona. So say, for example, if you've been, um, I don't know, a YouTube reader for so long and you've been doing something you never thought your friends or your family would do and you're ending that. So you're finally be, uh, revealing a different side to yourself maybe or taking the mask off or saying goodbye to a persona you once had, whether for career, whether for creative, whether for, you know, whichever purpose. It could be that you're finally taking a look at the mask. Um, but this, I feel like it's a different persona. There's duality coming in here as well. So um, quite an interesting reading for you, actually. I'm interested to see how this will unfolds for a lot of you Librans out there. So look, I, I will leave it at that, Libra. I hope this reading has been insightful for you. Uh, please remember these are general messages, so they won't apply to everyone. Um, 
But nonetheless, I hope this has been enjoyable. And yes, just a quick reminder, if you were after private readings, all the information you require is listed below in the description box. Um, and I'd be more than happy to arrange that for you. Otherwise, best of luck. Have a fantastic week and hopefully we'll chat soon. Bye for now.